Hello everyone, in this episode, a new talk on how about Dango chasing a woman. They both thought that the woman couldn't be Dango's ex-girlfriend because the woman looked rich. They also believed that the woman was not Dango's relative because Dango was the only son. They also believed that the woman was not the one of own Dango. They tried to find a reason for Dango to chase the woman but they couldn't find a definite reason. Then on her return home and her sentence raised a big question. She said there was someone Dongo might be looking for, but that incident had been 30 years ago, so she thought that it was impossible for Dongo to look for that person. This statement seemed to want to say that An Han knew that she was not Chun Yong's biological daughter. But when I remembered again, An Han didn't seem to know that she wasn't Chun Yong's biological daughter. If she knew that she and An Hyuk weren't Chun Yong's biological children, then she would have asked why An Hyuk didn't like carrots. Then in this episode, An Song deliberately insulted Sun Woo right in front of Sun Woo. She was sarcastic about Sun Woo because Sun Woo said that she was a careless and childish person. She fished Sun Woo twice, and Sun Woo seemed to enjoy what An Song was doing. He might have if she was denying An Song's words, but he enjoyed communicating with An Song. Then in this episode, Hyun started to feel that Sun Woo was close to An Song. She saw Sun Woo come to the trim room and was talking to An Song. She also saw An Song buying the coffee that Sun Woo liked, even though Hyun herself didn't know Sun Woo's favorite coffee. But she still tried to work professionally, even though suspicions were starting to arise. At the end of this episode, Hyun met An Hyuk who turned out to be an advisor who would help Hyung in making a film. Hyung would be very embarrassed because apparently, An Hyuk was the one chosen by the previous advisor to help Hyung. Okay everyone, that's the storyline this time. Thank you for watching my video.